Hello viewers welcome to my channel today i am going to review hig fashion ds7100 series network video recorder or nvr so first let's unbox the nvr in this nvr the components what you get with this you get a nvr also you get a uh, a patch cot lan card you get a power adapter this adapter will be used to provide the power to this nvr and also you get a hard disk cable it will be used to connect the hard disk with the nvr these are the main features of the nvr it provides a high definition video streaming third party network camera support that means you can connect other company camera like cp plus dawa that ip camera also you can interface with this in nvr it provides the hdmi vg output uh, it also have a gigabyte network interface connector and uh, live view can be done using a mobile phone if you make the nvr online you can see the video in your mobile phone with the gui interface and also it supports p2p function for easy remote management uh, you also get uh, this uh, optical mouse along with this nvr and a uh, hard disk power cable will be used to power up the hard disk from the nvr the next step is to install the hard disk in the nvr to installation you need a hard disk that is sata hard disk you need a power cable and one data cable this power cable and data cable comes with the nvr first we need to open the this nvr cabinet for that you will have this screw in the both the side and you have two screw in the back so this four screw need to be open to open the nvr cabinet so i am now opening the screw on the nvr so uh, now we have already opened the its cabinet now as you can see inside there is a processing board video processing board and a front panel connector which went to the front panel basically these are the ads are present and in the back side what you get this is the power supply point here you can connect your monitor vga monitor or you can interface with the hdmi port and here you have been given two usb port one usb port may be used for mouse connection or another you can connect pen drive or any external hard disk for taking the backup and here you have the lan ports so the camera camera can be connected or if you use a poe switch that poe switch uplink point should be connected to this lan port and as i told this is the detailed hardware hardware of the board video processing board 
in the video processing board you can see buzzer this is the uh, CMOS battery and these are the other external supporting chips especially this are uh, these two are the hardware these two are the hard disk connector this is the connector for power supply to hard disk and this is for the data cable for the hard disk what will install while installing hard disk you have to remember hard disk should be connected with these four points it should be connected now we are going to interface a uh, one tb hard disk with this nvr so let's see how we do that so i have one one tb hard disk with the you can see this is the with the sata port and now this hard disk need to be installed in this in this four points you have to match the this four points one two three four this screws points one two and three four with this points as all the connectors are present in this position so your hard disk this side should be the connector so the connector can reach to the connector point very easily first we connect the power connector that should be installed here you can see the notch very carefully if you see the notch carefully there is a, some L type cutting is there in the connectors so this will be connect here in this point So like that I have connected the power cable. Now I take the data cable and this cable can be connected in any, any directions. This side or this side there is no more problem. You can connect the data cable. So power cable and data cable connection is complete. Now I will interface with this point. Now we have to assemble the hard disk you have to revert the kit and you try to manage the hard disk such a way that you have to assemble the hard disk such a way that all the holes should be pointed in the gap now we can screw it up all the four screws using the screwdrivers In such a way we connect all four screws now as you can see i have installed the hard disk and i have screwed it up so now hard disk is already installed now time to connect this power and data cable connector you can see the connector this should be connect here So we connect the data cable as well as the power connector. With the hard disk. So by this process our hard disk installation is complete. Now we can box it up again. Now our hard disk is installed inside the NVR. I hope you enjoyed the watching my video if you like the video please subscribe my channel like the video and share thank you for watching